Today we're going to be unboxing this half ton pickup tr pickup truck crane. There goes the bottle jack. I'm going to be mounting it on the passenger side inside the bed but what I want to do is I want to reinforce reinforce it because the sheet metal on my bed is too thin so I'm going to run some 2x2 two two square tubing in here from this side of the frame rail all the way to the other side of the frame rail but first we got to take the tire off so let's go ahead and get that tire taken off so this is the round where the base plate is going to go but like i said this sheet metal on the on the on the floor of the bed is too thin so i'm going to be running some some two by two square tubing one on each side of the base plate all the way across frame rail to frame rail all right guys so what i'm doing right now is is i'm drilling these half inch holes in this two by two quarter inch steel square tubing Right, guys this is what i got so far this is the the reinforcement that's going to go under my bed to help support the the crane if you don't put reinforcement on the bottom the sheet metal from your bed would not sustain a lot of weight and like i said earlier i plan on doing lifting generators engines you know anything that weighs anywhere from 500 to a thousand pounds um so that's why i went with this two by two square tubing um it's a quarter inch thick quarter inch thick um in order to get it under the bed i had to take my bolts off so it's got six bolts two right here one right there and then one over there in the corner one in the corner and then one right there so those bolts came off fairly easy i'm just going to tack this in I'm gonna tack this up just to help lock in the um, the base plate. There's a good one guys. I haven't welded in about 15 years, but it's like riding a bike, comes back to you.
What I like about these braces is they're they're it's a clean install. There's about a two and a half inch gap between the the bottom of the of the floor of the bed and the top of the frame rail, so they fit perfectly. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tack weld it right there. Well, I'm gonna put a bead right there and a bead right there. This is the, the passenger side, and it comes through. This is the passenger side, and then this is where the the base plate of the of the crane, the base plate of the um, the truck crane meets up. Same thing with these, I'm just going to tack it right there, tack it right there, that should be it. All right, guys, this is where I'm at with it. Uh, this is the two by two square tubing, quarter inch thick. Um, this is what I'm using to reinforce the, the base plate of the crane. Um, I plan on using my crane to lift engines, generators, uh, any, basically anything I can't lift into the truck. So I plan on utilizing it exactly what it's intended for. And I wanted to get to make sure I get a good, strong base. So. I was going to bolt the reinforcement in through the top of the bed, but I just, I figured I'm just going to go ahead and, and weld it. I'm going to throw a bead right there and a bead right there. A bead right there. Basically four, four, four stitch welds, one on each square tubing from the base plate to the, to the reinforcement bars. Uh, make sure you got to make sure you shim it. Uh, cause there's a little bit of gap between the bed, the bottom of the bed and the, and the reef, the reinforcement bars. If y'all do any welding, I recommend disconnecting the battery. All right, guys, now that we got the base down, comes to the easy part easy part is just assembling the crane and installing it simple pins a few pins What I like about this bottle jack is that it pivots 360 degrees. Well, there it is. All right, guys, here's an inside view of the crane. It fits inside my truck perfect. Uh, it's fully extended all the way out and it doesn't interfere with anything. I do plan on installing a pedestal right there so it could, so it could sit on. All right, guys, the top, the top half assembly was pretty easy. There's really nothing to it. Right now, what we're gonna do is give it a little test lift. Um, we're gonna try to lift this LS3, which weighs about 500 pounds, uh, right, and we're at the 500 pound limit. Um, it can lift more, but you gotta retract the boom. Here's a different angle. Uh, this is with the 500 pounds fully extended weight limit. Um, let's see if this floor flexes any. It 
is, it lifted an LS3 fairly easy, didn't struggle at all. I could see how this is really going to come in handy in the future, lifting heavy objects into the truck. Alright guys, if you find this video helpful, do me a favor, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.